up where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. Let's take off, we're all ready to roll. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play. Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day. Where's that cedar? Ready to go. Wizzy and Wig are good to glow. Speakers bubbling, turning blue. Mortals making something new. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls and mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls and mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Yep, partner, it's the universe, the real wide open spaces, where a buckaroo can hitch up his asteroid belt and mosey on down the old Milky Way Trail. Are you sure this is the right script? I don't even know what a buckaroo is. <laughs> and why is there a horse in the announcer booth? You making a clown? This is your idea of a good time? Not just any cloud, Traxy. A cloud thick enough to cover this! A giant magnet! Floating right over Zula Patrol headquarters! Oh, well, I'm sure they'll appreciate the thought. But next year, maybe just a nice fruit basket? Don't you see? Next time they answer a distress call, their ship will fly through the cloud, rub up against the magnet, and become magnetized! Which will make their ship totally useless! <laughs> yeah. Aw, oh, thanks! You've given me the gift of knowledge. And split ends. <laughs> I win again! This is ridiculous. I don't want to play anymore. You mean you don't want to lose anymore. Come on, one more time. I dare you to race me. Maybe you'll even beat me. First one to touch that weird cloud wins! See? You're winning! Temporarily! <laughs> <laughs> ha! I win again! That's it! I've had enough of your silly dares, Wiz. I'm steering clear of you from now on. Hey! Let go! You let go! If this is another one of your games, Wiz, I don't like it. I don't know what you're talking about. Get off me! Oh, my nose! Wig, what are you doing in my salad? You're supposed to be helping Malto in the lab. Sorry, Bula. And you're supposed to be helping Zeter with the ship's maintenance. Uh, right away, Bula. Sorry I'm late, Zeter. Oh! Oh, uh... oh, Wig, I'm testing my dancing watering can. It waters my tulips while teaching them the bunny hop. Hey, give me a break! I mean, don't give me a break! Hmm, this is most irregular. Uh, you're telling me! Malto, uh, something strange just happened with Wizzy! What kind of something strange? Uh, that kind of something strange! Most irregular indeed! But I have a theory! Help me get these metal objects out of the lab so they don't fly onto Wizzy and Wig again! That's it. I quit. I'm going back to my old job as a toothbrush holder. What's going on, Malto? <laughs> Just as I suspected, they've become magnetized. Magnetized? I don't get it. I thought magnets were made of metal. Yes, but only certain metals such as iron can be magnetized. Wait a minute. Now I remember. Wizzy and Wig have iron in their shells. Oh. But how did you get magnetized? I don't know. We've had this problem ever since I raced Wig to a weird cloud. Beat him, too. Then that's the answer. That cloud must be magnetic. No, Bula. 
Clouds are made of water and a tiny bit of dust. They can't be magnetized. Wizzy and Wig must have rubbed against some sort of magnet. Hey, we did rub against something inside that cloud, remember? That's right! So this is all your fault. You dared me to race up there. You didn't have to take the dare. <laughs> Calm down, you two. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, how long is this going to last, Moto? I'm afraid that once magnetized, iron can remain that way indefinitely. That's a long time, right? Mm-hmm. Perhaps it's time to consult the Multopedia. In prehistoric times, people found that certain types of rocks attract metal. Objects that attract or repel metal are called magnets. Every magnet has two ends, called a North Pole and a South Pole. A North Pole attracts a South Pole, and a South Pole attracts a North Pole. However, a South Pole repels or pushes away another South Pole, and a North Pole repels another North Pole. Huh, so opposite poles attract each other, and like poles repel each other. That means Wig and I really are magnetized. My head is a North Pole, attracting my tail, which is a South Pole. North Pole, South Poles, don't planets have those too? Precisely. Planet Earth, for instance, is one giant magnet with a North and a South Pole. That's all fine, but what about us? We've become magnetic misfits. Yeah, what if we stay this way? We'll have to spend the rest of our lives stuck to shovels and things. Molto, can something that's been magnetized be demagnetized? Well, according to the Multopedia, dropping, hitting, or shaking a magnet can sometimes demagnetize it. It's worth a try. I'll go get my old hypersonic shoe buffer. What's going on? I've been waiting hours. Why don't those Zulu patrollers fly through my cloud? Don't they go on patrol anymore? Where's their sense of duty? What's this world coming to, Traxy? Who knows? Are we done exercising? I'm getting the hiccups. I simply must know. Uh... Whoa! What are you doing? Just making sure we don't fly anywhere near that cloud the next time we take off. We don't want our ship to end up magnetized like Wizzy and Wig. Oh, those flying nightlights have foiled my plan! Wow! Uh, <gasps> time to institute Plan D for decoy. How about Plan Z for zanier than a zebra? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, no. You two are still magnetized. Your North Pole is stuck to Wig South Pole. Because remember, opposite poles attract. Aww. It's a distress call from the ringmaster of the Intergalactic Circus. His interstellar circus ship has broken down. This is a job for the Zula Patrol. Steer clear of that cloud. Are you the Intergalactic Circus Master? In person! Step right up! Seize a ferocious and terrifying Lunar Lion! Roar. Uh, yes, well, uh, we'd better help them. You'll need to get closer so you can attach your torch chains. Vectoring it! No! Don't let this throw you! <laughs> I can't control the ship! I think it's been magnetized! How do you know? Uh -oh. <laughs> the Zulu Patrol is now as useless as a refrigerator magnet! Uh -huh. We're at full power! And I can't pull away from it! Oh, no. We're headed right into a Vatusian vortex. 
<laughs> Soda pop, but... <laughs> pop! Wait! Good idea, Gorga! We can pop off the hinges! <laughs> that vortex is getting closer! Whatever you're going to do, you better do it fast! <laughs> Wow, that was bad. <laughs> you did it. Cedar, engage thrusters. Thrusters on full. Full speed ahead. Phew. Now we can make it back to Zula. Excellent, because I have an idea how to demagnetize the ship. <laughs> Won't let them get away again! Uh, Traxy, did I just rub against my own magnet? No! No! <laughs> Luckily, I remember that heat can also demagnetize the magnet. Luckily, uh... Tasty. Thanks for the snack. This is so cool, Liz. Our north and south poles are no longer attractive or repelled. Sorry my dare got us into all this, Quig. That's okay. But next time I'll think about your dare before I decide whether to do it. Huh, that's the last one, Traxy! Hey! And so, as Dog Shooter slowly sinks into the west, we mosey off into the sunset. Get along, little Trudor, get along. Ah, it's time for our Malto moment. Come a little closer. Now, do you remember what we call the two poles on a magnet? I know, I know. Black pole and totem pole. Not exactly what I had in mind. What do you think? That's right. The two poles on a magnet are the North Pole and the South Pole, just like the Earth, which is the really big magnet. And remember, opposite poles attract, and like poles, repel. Bye-bye <laughs> for now. 